We're here at Pilot Point, Texas, home of Chad and Susie Chance and the home of Hoofwatch. And we've teamed up with you once again to do the two-man shoes for Las Vegas, Nevada, our grand finale with James Findler and Ian Ritchie, the judge. And today we're going to demonstrate how to make one of the two-man shoes, which is the Ayrshire Cock and Wedge. The Ayrshire Cock and Wedge is made out of 10 inches of 5A square. All right, we've got an elongated heel cock on the outside with a bit of kick, a little bit of a trailer for some lateral support, and then we have a running wedge on the medial aspect. We've got, it's made out of 5A square, so we're gonna have to put a little bit of material in the toe because we're just over an inch. The shoe, you can hold on to the shoe after it's made with 5 16 tongs, so it's gonna be flattened out quite a bit. And this heel cock is probably one of the tests that we'll look for. This shoe is punched for six E3 slims. So we've got an unusual trailer that's elongated. It looks like a trailer and kick on the, the ground surface, but then when you look at the foot surface, it's just widened with the boxing going through that edge. This shoe measures four and three quarters wide by five long, and it's measured from the lateral heel, so it could fudge a little bit. We're not gonna put a center punch mark on it because the, the toe will be moved back and forth, but we're gonna put, to make the lateral heel cock, we're gonna score it at one inch. Just bumping up as much as I can in one heat. Give me a good toe. Got a little over an inch in that. I think that'll be just about right. We don't want it to drag down. There we go. So So we got a nice sharp corner, then we'll come here. We're gonna line that corner up. You wanna kinda of sharpen that corner up, that inside of the cock, so I'm just gonna beat it back. All right, that's heat one. We've got a square corner edge here. We've got our, we're getting our width, and this is gonna fold all the way around and sit right here. We're just gonna take one more heat and kind of petite everything up. We want this to grow to an inch and three quarter. So you can see we got a quarter inch to grow so I can forge on it a little bit. We're gonna widen this up a little bit and we'll then we'll be ready to weld it. We're just gonna widen up, let's just, Come in here and just crispen that up. We're just gonna take a little edge off the back to make a welding point. What that does is I'll have a surface to weld on the other side of my weld so it's not just independent. This edge will actually have a lockdown area. Perfect. Come in here and just kind of flatten all this up, make it nice, a nice area to weld to. He's just gonna score it right here. One more, just easy. Perfect. Then what you do, All right. 
right? Just get it all stuck and weld that other side in there, get it in there good and pull that tab down and that adds material. got a nice clean corner I'll weld it and then we'll put the the trailer on it all right so now we're just gonna take it And then there we go. And we've got it trailered out. Now we're ready to go on with the rest of the shoe. Now I've got my one inch toe, more than one inch. And so I'm gonna make my uh, inside heel my after my toe bend. So what I'll do is I'll make my toe bend and then I'll make the inside heel so I have something to hold on to. Make my toe bend. See, now I got something to hang on to. Constantly be working that around. I'm leaning with my tong hands and I'm just gonna pull this edge out here. Pull that edge out there. And then right here, I'm just gonna tilt it up a little bit. and then just pack it back. Push that all the way to the bottom. shoe's got a bit of a set toe in it, so I'm just going to come in here and make that transition. And then bend it around the horn. Again, come in here. I'm just gonna run and set my toe a little bit. I'm leaning the hammer back on the horn. Then what I'll do is the same here, is I'll grab this corner and lean my hammer back and grab that corner there. 
That makes a nice, safe toe, and it accentuates those that box toe that he's coming off of the toe. I've got these nice corners right here, and that's what I'm gonna line up my, my anvil with. And then I can just come in here and put me a straight line. And then I'll run my edge, go out to the widest part, and then around, widest part, and then come on around it. down, go past the widest part, come on around, clean up both sides, a wide stock like this will pucker on you so you just want to make sure you keep on ironing it out. barely grab the toe and then just clean up my wedge a little bit so the profile I mean the top of my wedge looks nice and like a nice consistent ramp brush everything up get it nice and clean and then we'll head stamp it for the last time and be done with it a nicer head stamp just to push those edges out a little bit for that E3 Finishing up that inside medial branch, get all the junk off of it. Then what you want to do is ever so slightly just push down with your tong hand and just hit that heel and that makes sure that you got a nice, your heel comes all the way to the edge. Head stamp and then Pritchell. Pretty much got her done. <laughs> 